Nice mics. Thank you, thank you. 400 bucks. 400, 400 bucks? 400, yeah. Wow. Honestly, for the quality, it's you gotta pay it, so. Yeah, this is good stuff. What does this tournament mean to us? It means everything. Okay. I mean, we're not amateurs at darts. Um, no. Uh, what separates amateurs from professionals is getting paid, and I. I get paid, so. Paid for darts. Paid. For, what's that? Sorry. Paid. Paid for darts. Paid. No, I get paid. I get paid. Um, I get paid for my part-time job at Come and Go. K U M. Come and Go. Yes, yeah, so, uh, we were we were scouted at our local dart arena. Right. Mm -hmm. That was. Yeah. Uh, when was that? Um, Kind of just a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago, yeah, yeah. Um, we love it there. We we're we're playing darts there all the time, mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah, it's a pretty cool place. Uh, they even sell like drinks and stuff there. Mm -hmm. um, we typically buy a drink or two when we're there just to kind of like support uh, the arena because I can't imagine they're doing too well uh, since they took uh, darts off of ESPN. Mm -hmm. you know, they stopped yeah. broadcasting darts on ESPN. Mm -hmm. um, we don't drink. Too no, we, much we don't drink too much. Um, you know, we're athletes. We gotta take care of our bodies. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I, I always say this: uh, you want your mind as sharp as your darts. Yeah. So that's what drinking definitely doesn't help with that. No. Mm -hmm. So it was actually during one of our tri-weekly darting sessions that we got got the email. Mm -hmm. We actually subscribed to the uh, Dart Shop's newsletter. And uh, yeah, they sent us an email telling us about this uh, tournament in Colombia. And uh, we, we, it was, I knew it was only us that they sent it to because there were no other emails in the mm -hmm. CC section or the, the BCC, BCC section. BCC yeah. section. Yeah. Yeah. So it was targeted at us and I think they recognized that mm. we weren't just like amateurs, right. you know? Like they recognized our skill. Right. I mean, you know, we're there all the time. We're sinking shots. We're, we're hitting the trip 20. We're hitting bullseye. Um, and, you know, it, you can't keep doing that and not be seen by someone, especially these scouts are all over the place. Yeah. They're, they're, they're roaming, you know, looking for um, masters. Mm -hmm. Should I say that? Yeah. Masters of darts? I, I don't think it would be arrogant. No? And I'm not? No. Um, we are masters of darts. They say those who ignore their history are doomed to repeat it. So we think why not learn the history so that we can repeat the good parts like success. Yeah, and I say, you know, why not? It starts under fiction or non-fiction. I don't know. He did sports, right? We could do something. Maybe it's something in here. Bingo. Since uh, Colombia is in South America. We're gonna do some research um, on the culture, what the place is gonna be like, and uh, just so we know when we're going in exactly what we're getting into. I think we have what we need. Knowledge is power, just remember that, okay? It's very important to teach yourself. So 
darts is a sport and uh, with any sport you have to practice you have to um, train and you have to get your body to a place where it's ready for action and so um, we're going to be getting up at 5 a.m. every day we're going to be training uh, is that right just uh, you ready that right. yeah so it's 5 a.m. and we're pumped we're ready to hit the gym uh, so we're going to focus on a lot of uh, dart related activities we're going to work out our wrists um, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff Rising up back in the streets. Did my times, took my chances. With the dance to now I'm back on my feet. Just a man and his will to survive. So many times it happens too fast. You trade your passion for glory. To grip all the dreams of the past, you must fight just to keep them alive. It's the eye of the tiger, it's the thrill of the fight. Rising up to the challenge of our rival darts. Let us watch those survivors talk this prey in the night, and he's watching us all with the eye. Don't this look like, you know. What, male or female? Female. Dark. So obviously we are very intentional about training our minds, also our our bodies with, with muscles and stuff like that. Um, but another and very, very important element to this is um, nutrition. Yeah, we actually um, made an appointment with a nutritionist to kind of help us uh, plan for like what we should eat, how, like what's the best thing to eat to kind of maximize our uh, performance uh, in darts. Yeah, I think the appointment's tomorrow, so we're excited to get some insights. We don't have a pretty good understanding of nutrition and you know, mm -hmm. fruit, meat, um, vegetables, I you assume. Know, so I don't that. Okay. What? Sorry. Oh, that was today. Okay, uh, can we reschedule? Some nutritionist. That's, that was today. Uh, no? Um, okay, what about our deposit? Because that was quite a lot. Okay, so no, all right. I, I, no, 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 it, it makes sense. I just don't like it. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, no, okay. Uh, thank you, Stacy. All right, bye. Uh, so that's, that's our $600 deposit down the drain. But, I mean, maybe it's a good thing. It's not terrible. Here's, here's how I see it, okay? Um, I, we don't need that negativity in our lives, actually, mm -hmm. uh, of someone telling us what we can and can't eat or do. Yeah, no, because darts is about freedom. Yeah. And it's not darts. This is the opposite of freedom. Yeah, I'm not paying to I'm not paying to be a prisoner. This is an exclusive monk beat freedom. There was a time when we were amateurs, and we didn't fully appreciate darts as an art form. No, yeah, no, we we were naive and we just thought it was some super badass sport where we could record a badass montage of like flipping cool trick shots and, you know, get a ton of chicks. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, it did eventually hit us. You know, it, it hits every dart player. Everyone. That, well, you can't spell art without, without dart. dart, you know? I've said that. 
How many times? Hundreds, hundreds. hundreds. We, and we've matured and we've grown yeah. and you know we're not babies anymore. No, we're, we're professionals. We're, yeah. And and this this tournament will prove that for us. Uh, we were practicing as usual, uh, on our dartboard and, um, I was sinking the shots. I thought I got a triple 20, got a triple one. And, uh, Justin calls out, uh, oh, you, you, you didn't hit, you didn't hit what you were wanting to. And I was like, <laughs> you know, yeah, I know I missed it. And then and then so he goes to take a shot he thinks he hits a triple 20 and uh he also hits a triple one so i burst out laughing and i'm like you did the exact same thing of the thing that of the thing that you were making fun of me earlier and i laughed at it and and he just stormed off um and i haven't seen him for hours honestly it's it's really late right now, and um, yeah, it's been like six or seven hours since I last saw him, so. Uh, hello? Oh, yeah, hey, Colin. Yeah, sorry, my phone died that first night, so uh, I, I found a charger that's only let me one. Uh, nah, I never really left Parker, just kind of walked around, you know? Yeah, I'm doing okay. I think... I think I may have overreacted a bit. I don't know, the stress of the tournament got the better of me, I think. Looking back on it, it really wasn't about me, you know, not hitting that trip one, even though I really should have. I did a lot of thinking, you know, I, I guess I, I forgot my wallet, so I had to do a lot of thinking, so mostly about how to get food. I think, yeah, you know, overall it's been a good experience. I, I think I know exactly what the homeless people are going through now, so I did learn a lot. Wait, what? You followed me? You're filming too? Wait, so you saw me uh, like at Walmart and stuff? Did you, wait, what about the, did you film me in the parking lot too? Practice video number 13, uh, assessment of elbow angle and dart trajectory. So, can I get the full, okay, here we go. One, two, it's not even going straight. I don't under, what's going on with me? It doesn't make any sense. Sorry, I Where are your shoes, buddy? I lost them. It's okay. It's okay. And just like that, we're back together, stronger than ever, with the past behind us and the future ahead of us. We were on our way to, to Cartagena. Just luck. We're gonna. We're actually gonna go through right here. We can't film. Yeah, we can't film through this, but uh, we'll keep our mics on. You know it. 
So what are these? Sir, I barely knew her. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So no, what are I'm these? I'm just kidding. Th those are my parts. Okay, uh, but you cannot take these onto the plane. Uh, no, no, I'm going to a dart tournament. No, but wait, wait. This is a prohibited item. You cannot take on sharp objects. It's for, it's for darts. That are longer than four inches long. No, but it's plane. no, but it's for darts. I'm going to a tournament. I'm going to play in a tournament. I'll come back. I'm not going to use it to hurt anyone. Well, if you needed it, you would have needed to pack these in your check luggage. You cannot put them in and keep them in your pocket. No, but you wouldn't ask, like, you wouldn't remove a prosthetic arm from a prosthetic man. Absolutely not, because that is not a prohibited item. No, but listen, I'm saying it's that my... To I know, I'm saying that my darts are an extension of me, and so you can't do that. So you can you ask can, them. You okay, can you also not touch me there, please? I am just touching your darts. Why? Well, like I said, if you touch my darts, you touch me, so uh, can you please back off? So if you want, you can send these to your uh, place of residence. I don't... I... Listen to me. Let me through. You, you, okay, so you wouldn't separate, you wouldn't separate a child from their father, Well, if you? the child was a sharp object, yes, I would. I can't believe this. We haven't even, we haven't even arrived in Colombia yet. And the one single thing that we needed for this tournament has been confiscated by the TLC. I don't... How are we gonna get... Th these were custom darts. Custom darts. They're custom made to our grip. They fit... Our fingers exactly. Exactly. And they had the perfect weight. These were the darts we've been practicing with. Alright. It's basically ruined our chances of accomplishing anything of significance. We could still try and find darts in Cartagena, but... I mean, we'll be at a disadvantage because we won't be used to them. Um, no, it'll be like throwing other darts. You know? This is... This is the worst thing that's ever happened to us. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to my life. They're probably taking those guys' darts as well. Those guys are life ruiners. They're dream crushers and I hate them. And with that minor setback, major, ma major setback, major setback, yeah, we decided to keep a positive attitude, keep our chins up, and continue on our way.
We had made it. But when our taxi driver asked us where we were going, it became abundantly clear that we had forgotten to book a hotel or any kind of accommodation. As athletes, sometimes we get so caught up in training that the logistics slip through the cracks. We were dartless and shelterless, but at least we had 100 American dollars in our pockets. We had three days until the dart tournament. We decided to get a head start and look for some replacement darts. Okay, uh, quick update. We've been in Cartagena for two days now looking for the dart tournament hall where it's gonna be. I haven't found it yet. We've looked everywhere. Everywhere. Um, it's a huge city. It's a huge city and the venue is supposed to be huge too. Yeah. Um, we don't have a cell phone with data so we can't uh, look anything up on maps yeah. um, and we can't really ask for the Wi-Fi password anywhere because mm -hmm. we don't know Spanish we don't know Spanish um, so what's happened is we've been just walking around looking for it thinking it'd be pretty obvious but we I mean you know it's all we've been doing we can't find anything everything's like above, thousands and thousands of dollars yeah, and we, we only, only have we like a hundred yeah um, which we we still haven't been able to buy anything with it because we don't speak the language and we don't know what yeah well and then there's all yeah there's nothing for what we have there's yeah, we, nothing that's a hundred dollars we haven't had any food water is um, like three thousand dollars yeah water is can you imagine that expensive. this is what america doesn't understand is that we're so lucky and privileged with what we have we can buy water for a dollar or two here everyone you need to be a billionaire to live here yeah seriously uh we do have this much water left yeah um a homeless man actually gave us this bottle of water mm -hmm. and uh we've made it last a little bit uh but honestly we're both thirsty we're both hungry yeah this is turning out to be um, a very unpleasant trip. We were very excited for it. We don't have any darts. It's another thing we've been doing. We've been trying to find darts because ours are compensated at the airport. And I think for a place that's holding a, a dart tournament, um, we're very surprised at the lack of dart boards and darts. I thought this was the dart capital of the world. It, well, it's, you know, it's dart Gina for a reason, you know? Yeah. But there's nothing here. There's nothing. So anyway, it's it's about midnight. We're gonna head in. We found a little rooftop rooftop terrace. We'll just kind of show you. It's just like a it's just a rooftop, and uh, we're obviously up here because um, the the wind is less powerful on the higher you go. So we're just gonna curl up together and use our own body heat to keep warm. It's a little cold, but. Uh... We have to do what we have. So. We, we have to do what we have to do. Keep you guys posted. Good night. Partners. shaped dart holder. You can put each of your darts in there. Fascinating.
recognize this place at all. Justin, huh? I don't see the dark anywhere. I don't either. <laughs> With our hunger and thirst at an all-time high, we are quickly realizing that our $100 was not going to get us anywhere. Thanks. Well, rice is cheap everywhere, so this is probably gonna be... Okay, so we managed to raise some money busking. Um, a very kind American couple gave us some money, so uh, we're really happy about that. And we found the one shop that we know we can actually afford, so I'm just gonna go check out. You guys want, you want a foot long? You want a foot long or something? $6,500. How? Please lay an egg. Despite suffering from severe hunger, dehydration, and depression, we were doing pretty well. Not knowing a lick of Colombian and still coming up empty-handed in the dark situation, things were looking grim. With no food, water, or money, save the few scraps donated to us from busking, we continued to struggle finding shelter during the cold nights or bathrooms to relieve what little bodily waste we produced. Colombia's culture, vibrant nightlife, exotic sounds and colors were really beginning to piss us right off with hotels costing upwards of hundreds of millions of dollars, we decided to build our own shelter instead. Seriously.
Yeah, nah, I'm doing okay. Doing pretty good, all things considered, you know. Um, the trip was a pretty significant blow to my ego and, you know, Billet. You ever do that now? Yeah, no, it's starting to hurt anyway. <sighs> Good. Just kind of getting back into the swing of things after traveling this hard. So. Yeah, I'm still jet lagged. So. Yeah, it's been a week, but it's been a month. It's been jet lagged. Yeah, you know when I look back on the trip and I really analyze our mistakes and the things that we could have done better, uh, it keeps me up at night. You know, there's a lot that I wish I had known um, before going into this trip. And it's one of those... You good? There's a lot of things I would have done differently, yeah. Yeah, same. Um, definitely would have saved up a bit before going on the trip, because... A lot more. I was obscenely expensive over there. I wasn't expecting that. Um, it makes sense because of the drug money, though. Mm. That's something we didn't consider, and I think I think the more I've researched things, the more it's it's abundantly clear that the the dollar amount uh, is always going to be so much less than. Um, th there are some countries in Africa where a loaf of bread is like a million, you know, million dollars. Yeah. Which again makes sense. That's why people are poor there because no one can afford it. So it makes sense. Um, but I, again, this is something I learned. So now, you know, for future reference, we can we know we have to raise a lot more money. The U.S. dollar is not strong. No, I mean like there's a reason we have a dollar store and they don't. Very well observed. I haven't ever seen a peso store. True. So again. These, these cultural differences are what we're learning in our travels. So for any future tournament, uh, we will be bringing nothing less than 10 million US yeah. dollars with us. Yeah. I mean, travel broadens the mind and mm -hmm. our minds are broadened, mm -hmm. but our souls are crushed. They are crushed. But we're doing all right. We're holding up. Yep. Gotta go to work. All right. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of glad things are back to normal. You know, things weren't really so chaotic before we left on the trip, and I'm kind of glad that it's kind of coming back to a, uh, back to normalcy, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm still, still glad that it happened. It was a good learning experience. I just don't want to do it again. Yeah. Huh? Josh?